Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to my YouTube channel. We here at the channel are continuing in our series of videos with respect to education, information, inspiration, guidance, advice. And uh, those who have seen my videos know that I am particularly drawn to uh, unusual phrases and uh, expressions that don't seem to make sense at first blush. And uh, I want to talk about uh, Deuteronomy chapter uh, 31, verses 17 and 18, when it says, And many evils and troubles shall come upon them, and they shall say on that day, Have not these evils, uh, evils come upon me, because God is not in our midst. And I, this is God talking now, and I will surely have concealed my face on that day. Okay, we have all sorts of uh, tragedies and evils befalling the Jewish people. The, the Jewish people realize this, and they say, these evils have come upon us because God is not in our midst. And then we have God hiding his face. Again, it's called Hester Punim, concealing his countenance, hiding his face. What's going on here? Surely, if the Jewish people are, recognize that something's happening to them, and that they're making a mistake. This is one of the steps in tshuva. This is one of the steps in in in, in repentance, realizing that you've made some, you're doing something wrong, and um, it shouldn't be followed with more hesterpona, more concealing his face. And um, what's worse than God removing Himself from us? Um, we know that. God will never really abandon us. Although he sometimes hides his face, he will never, never fully disappear. It was uh, Ramban, Rabbi Moshe ben Nachum, who explains that the Jews' acknowledgement of their iniquity falls short of genuine tshuva. It is a step in the tshuva process, but it's, it's only a step. Recognizing that what you're doing is wrong is a step. Uh, okay, then stopping it, uh, making up, you know, you know, turning yourself around, living a good life, making up for damage. It's only part of the process. A half-hearted truva or an incomplete truva is not going to affect a completely favorable response from the Creator. We're going to have to do better than that. And although the Torah does not indicate any new punishment, we still do not merit Hashem's return. And it was uh, Sforno, um, Italian uh, rabbi and biblical commentator, uh, who explains that while Hashem conceals his presence, he will always be there to protect us and serve our people. We can and should still pray to him even during moments of Chesar Ponim, even when he's hiding his face, especially when he's hiding his face. And it was a Rav uh, Simcha Bonim of Peshischa who addresses this verse in a more homiletic uh, manner, uh, maintaining that for a Jew to say that Hashem is not in his midst is in itself an avera. It's in itself a, a sin. No Jew should ever feel alone. No Jew should say that Hashem has deserted him. Even during those moments of pain, terror, affliction, Hashem is with us and we should turn to him always, even, even in those times, as it says, De profundus calmaviete, from the depths, I've cried out to you. Even when you're at the rock bottom, even when you're in the, in the abyss, you can't give up hope. I cry out unto you. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.